In this video, we're going to learn about bundling. And as always, the best way to do this is by solving a problem. Here's what we have. We have the letters of the word bundling, B-U-N-D-L-I-N-G. And what we have to do is, we need to find all possible rearrangements where both the vowels are always together. It's a special type of constraint. We have two vowels, U and I, U and I, and we want both of them to be always together. Here's an example. B N D L N G U I. This word, this rearrangement works for us because you and I are together. Here's one more. Here's one more. Here U is sitting next to I and here I is sitting next to you. So both of them work for us. Now before we learn how to do this, why don't you pause the video and try it out yourself. Your job is to figure out how you and I can always be together. Okay, the approach will be different, but the feeling will be the same. Life is not so good. Assume that it is good and then fix your mistakes. So what we have is you and I are not together. That's not good for us. But we can assume that they're together and then we'll fix our mistakes. Now let's bring you and I close to each other. We have you, we have I. Now let's bundle them. Let's bind them together and form a new letter, let's call it the bundle of U and I. It's a very beautiful world where U and I are sitting very close to each other. So this is what we used to have. We used to have B U N D L I N G, but that's no longer the case. U and I don't exist. We now form a bundle and this is a new letter that we have. So there was a time when we had eight letters, but now we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now we only see seven. Let's rearrange them. Let's take an example. B, N, D, L, N, G, and then heart. This works because you and I are together. Let's take another one. B, N, D, L, N, G, and then heart. This also works for us because you and I are together. So when you're seeing this heart, imagine you and I are sitting next to each other. And these are just two arrangements. How many total arrangements can we get? Let's figure that out. B, N, D, L, N, G, heart. How many ways to arrange these seven letters? Pause the video, think about it. Well, if your answer is seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you're only partially right. You might have missed this N that is also repeating here. So watch out for these things. We have a repeated letter here, N, which means we need a correction. So we divide this by two. And now we have the correct answer. That's 2,520 ways. So these are the number of ways to arrange B and D, L, heart, N, G. But who are we kidding? 2520 is not the number of words that we're getting. It's the number of ways of rearranging this thing that we have written here. Let's break this down and see how many actual words we get. So if we write down a few arrangements, let's write down three of them. If we open this up and replace this with U and I, this is what we get. We get B and D, L, N, G. And then if you open this, we get U and then I. Now that's a word. This is a word where U and I are together. But this same arrangement could be written this way as well, B and D, L and G, and then I and U. In both the cases, U and I are together, so both of these are valid, and both of them are different. U and I is different than I and U. And that's also the case here. When we open this up, you get this and this. So from this arrangement, you're getting two different words. So no matter where your heart is, you'll always get two arrangements. So what this means is, every single arrangement will give us two words. This arrangement gives us two words. This arrangement gives us two words. This arrangement gives us two words. So all 2520 arrangements should give us twice this much, which is 5040 words. And this is our final answer. This is the total number of ways to rearrange the letters of the word bundling and get unique words. Let's summarize. This is what we had. We had these letters and we wanted you and I to be together. Life was not so good. You and I were not together. So we assume that it is good. We assumed that you and I are together. They're actually one word. We bundled you and I and formed a new letter and we called this a bundle or a heart or whatever you want to call it. And we got to this number 2520. But then we had to fix our mistakes, which means we had to unbundle them back. And when we did that, when we opened this heart, you and I could switch places and every single one of these arrangements gave us two unique words. Which means when we unbundled them, when we opened the heart and let you and I lose, we got 5,040 ways. And that's how you solve problems like this.
Here's one if you want to give it a shot. Math is fun. Find all possible rearrangements where all three vowels are always together. We have A, we have I and we have U. Your job is to figure out how many words you can form where A, I and U are always sitting next to each other. Pause the video, give it a shot. Alright, so the vowels are not together. Assume that they are together. We can bundle A, I and U and form a new letter. Let's call it heart. This changes the number of letters we have. Now we have M, T, H, S, F, N and then a heart. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters. All of them are different. This gives us 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We can rearrange this in these many ways. Now we need to fix our mistakes. So we unbundle them back. So when we open the heart, we let loose A, I and U. In how many ways can they arrange themselves? That's 3 into 2 into 1. Each bundle gives 3 times 2 times 1. That's 6 words. Each heart will give us 6 arrangements of A, I and U. Which means we'll multiply this with not 2 this time, but with 6. So we multiply this with 6 and we get the answer. In this case, the answer is 30,240 ways. So we have these many ways to arrange all the letters that are given here. Here's one last problem. M-A-T-H-I-S-F-U-N Find all possible rearrangements where all three vowels are never together. So we want to make sure that A, I and U, they're never together. A couple of examples. This one works for us because A, I and U are not together. This one does not work for us because A, I and U are together. So we will not count this one. But look at this next one. This one has some of them together, but not all three of them. Do you think this will work? Yes, this works. Some of them could be together. What we want to make sure is all three of them are not together. So how do we figure this out? Pause the video, think about it. A neat way to figure out the number of cases where all of them are never together would be to figure out all the possible cases and subtract the cases where all three of them are always together. Think about it. These are the total number of cases. And if we subtract the cases where all of them are always together, what do we end up with? We end up with the cases where all three of them are never together. And good thing for us is we have already solved half of it. So let's wrap this up. We already know that there are roughly 30,000 ways to arrange these letters such that A, I and U are always together. What's the total number of ways? Well, we can figure that out. All the letters are distinct. M, A, T, H, I, S, F, U, N. How many letters do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the total number of ways is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now that's roughly 3.5 lakhs. Now to get to yellow, all we need to do is take blue and then subtract red from it. This is what we get. That's our answer. And just a fun fact, that's more than 90% of total number of cases. So that's it on bundling. This is how you solve for cases when you want things to be always together and never together.